If you go back and you watch my videos over the last few months, you're going to hear me saying over and over again that the Democrats and the media are going to incite violence with their hyperbolic rhetoric over immigration. All these comparisons to Germany during World War II and concentration camps are obviously going to incite somebody to take action. Why wouldn't you? I mean, if you truly believe that Nazis have risen up and are putting people in camps, you have to take action. That's a question that I have for the Democrats and their media. If they truly believe all their rhetoric about concentration camps and Nazis, why haven't they raised an army and stopped it? Why haven't they taken action themselves? I think the answer is pretty obvious, that they don't actually believe this and they're trying to incite groups like Antifa to do their dirty work for them. I think ultimately they want people on our side to fight back and defend themselves and then suddenly the media will take an interest and cast our side as the aggressors. This attack occurred over the weekend during protests that took place at ICE facilities, one of which where they took down an American flag and raised the Mexican flag in its place. Antifa was at these rallies and one of their members decided that it would be cool to get an AR-15 rifle and some firebombs and attack an ICE facility. It didn't go well for him and he was shot dead. If you look at the guy's manifesto, you're going to find lots of words and phrases that come straight from AOC, her cohorts, and the media. I mean, it's right there in his manifesto, concentration camps. That's a talking point from AOC and her defenders in the media. And keep in mind, just for context, that this is taking place just a couple weeks after a journalist was attacked and violently beaten by Antifa members and then subsequently defended by members of the media. Which is another story that the media largely ignored and the journalists that did cover it actually defended Antifa and attacked the journalists for being critical of the domestic terrorist organization. Checking on Twitter, you'll notice that none of the media organizations are covering this story at all. If you search Google for any reporting on this Antifa terrorist attack, what you're going to find is that all the mainstream networks mention it on their internet sites, but don't mention Antifa. If you refine the search to include Antifa, you'll find all the people that are mentioning that's Antifa are all alternative news sites. Curiously, this story involves an attacker that used an AR-15, and when does the media ever pass up a chance to fearmonger about the AR-15? The answer is when they're the ones who incited the attack. One thing I did find while browsing Twitter was a domestic terrorist promotional piece by CNN's Kamau Bell, who I've exposed on more than one occasion promoting Antifa. These white people are the redneck revolt. Now they aren't a bunch of rednecks revolting against equality like I first thought. They're actually rednecks revolting against the rednecks who are revolting against equality. Did you happen to catch that familiar face? Yeah, it's the violent Antifa terrorists who just attacked the ICE facility. As we all know well by now, CNN's Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo are big defenders of Antifa, saying that anybody who opposes this violent communist organization must be a fascist. And they were talking about Antifa or Antifa, however you want to pronounce it, calling them the alt-left. Well, that group protests fascism, so maybe their tactics weren't exactly right. All groups uh, like that, political groups, rights groups, protest groups, it's messy. Antifa or whomever, anarchist or malcontent or misguided, they are all so wrong to hit. But fighting hate is right. Antifa is widely perceived as an African-American organization, and this is just part of the same story. This is about black versus white. With media outlets and the Democrat Party openly defending and promoting this violent domestic terrorist organization, it shouldn't be a big surprise that we're seeing this escalation in violence from them. They appear to be above the law in places like Portland, Oregon, where the mayor has told police to stand down while Antifa carries out their attacks. And make no mistake, there are more attacks coming, especially with these extremists in the media saying things like Trump is terrorizing citizens with his ice raids. Certainly protecting their fellow human yeah, beings and their yeah, fellow citizens. Yeah. But it, and I thought that was just so, so despicable. And I just, it was cruel because he was terrorizing but it's people. What he, but it's what, it's he, what does. he does. Tawny Hostin is a big Obama supporter. So it's curious that she would take this hardline position when these ice raids were occurring under Obama's administration. Obama separated tens of thousands of families with these ice raids and subsequent deportations. With folks in the media pumping out this hyperbolic rhetoric, anyone who actually believes in it will feel a duty to take action. I think this puts us all in danger because anybody that sides with Antifa will see anybody that opposes them as a Nazi or fascist and thus a justifiable target. And for this, you can thank the ideological subversion being carried out by the likes of CNN, MSNBC, and ABC. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy my content and you want to help support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. You can also send me a donation on PayPal.
Thanks a lot.